All right, so number four, transportation. So this is a huge difference between Orlando and San Francisco. You would like to explain how uh, transportation is in uh, Orlando? Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not comparable. <laughs> it's either you own a car or you live everywhere you go. <laughs> it is like awful. They have, in, in Orlando, they have um, public transportation, but you will have to get, if you're trying to take public transportation to work, you will have to get up extremely early to make sure you get to work on time. So say you have um, work starting at eight o'clock, you will have to make sure you, you leave up by probably six, or 6 30 to give yourself enough time because these buses are these um trails that they have right call links. commuter rails and stuff like that they don't come like every 10 minutes they come probably every hour or every 30 minutes so you will have to sit and wait and if you miss the bus or the rail you can go home. <laughs> yes, good. so here you definitely need a vehicle. You definitely need a car or because if you don't have a car, it's, you're going to be waiting a long time for transportation to arrive, and if you miss it, as my wife was saying, you'll have to wait a long time for the next one. Unlike in San Francisco, where it runs every 15 minutes. And remember, I mind you that in San Francisco, if you go north, south, east, west, around. Uh, San Francisco is seven miles each way, so you could get quickly to your destination in an amount of time. Uh, you want to tell them about the incident we had when I uh, when we last went to San Francisco? Yeah, so we decided to um, take the bus uh, one day. We decided to, uh, you know, we were going to Angel Island or. Yeah. So we had yeah. to park so the car, to park the car and, get on, and get on the bus. So we were in Bruno. Yeah. Uh, uh, San yeah, Bruno. San Bruno Avenue. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, the bus stopped and we st we tried to line it up to get on the bus. But all of a sudden, the bus just drove past. It stopped and then it just decided it's not going to wait for us to come on the bus. So we had to like wait on another bus. So... And the reason because uh, some of the buses in San Francisco are limited. So some of the buses don't stop at every bus stop. It passes a few. They're bus. like express. Uh -huh. So um, that's one of the bus that we... Um, we didn't have no idea it was an express bus, but a gentleman, he was, um, you know, he was going to work and he wanted to get on the bus but then he started to say he, he's gonna be late for work so he will have to call uber mm -hmm. so he was like so upset and i, I could understand because just imagine you are trying to get to work on time and the bus you know stop at the bus stop and all of a sudden it just decided it's not gonna wait on you to get on so, you know, he was kind of upset, but he said he's going to call Uber so Uber can... Um... And, and that's one thing that I'm still trying to grapple with is people using Uber in San Francisco and Lyft because transportation is so consistent and arrives on time so much. You know, I mean, if you don't use the bus, you can skateboard, you can ride a bike and get around the city as quick as possible so me just hearing about people using scooters electric scooters and asking for uber lyft and all that is kind of kind of unreal to me because well you know but in some other states i can see why they would use uber like, like florida you definitely would yeah use, you definitely you, would need you, you would use uber and lyft because mm -hmm. florida is so spread out and as i said the transportation um here is limited mm -hmm. um it's not like quick or fast where you can miss a bus and get on the next one. If you miss the bus, you will have to wait. 
and um, that can make you reach work late or reach where you're going late, you know. So you have to make sure once you move to Florida or you um, visit Florida, you have to make sure you prepare yourself for that because it's going to be like a shock to you. You're going to be like, oh my God, when is the bus coming? And furthermore, with... Um, with the public transportation here, they are not um, like in California where you would have like a bus stop and you have a shade and stuff. Right, like that. that's the one thing. It's not, no, it is not, nothing like right. that. You, you, they, you have a bus stop, but sometimes yeah, there's it may no not shade. Have a shade to cover so you. So you may you're going to be in, in the, the rain, rain, in the heat, <laughs> 90 degrees. And oh man, uh, that's just. Yeah, it's going to be unbearable. so bad. Like, you better. Have a second plan because right. you have an umbrella <laughs> with you. Uh uh. Because in San Francisco you have covering, you can get under where you you know, avoid getting wet in the weather, but here many other places do not have uh, a shelter at the bus stop. So you you definitely gonna feel the that may probably end up forcing you to get a car. Or you know, the thing get, is you know, with San Francisco that I don't like with the public transportation, it is so filthy <laughs> yeah you definitely so have to wear gloves you, you can't you can't take the bus with your nice clothes saying you're going to work mm -hmm. or you're going to a party because mm -hmm. once you get off that bus oh my god you're probably smelling you know you're probably like what happened here because the bus like you have to remember it's they have a big homeless population yeah, there yeah. so it's years. like a lot of people probably not um don't have the ability to get a bath right. to take exactly. showers um so they come on the bus they're smelling a certain way but hey and then it's crowded on top it's of that packed like sardine. <laughs> it's like no it's kind of like a smaller stay. version and of New especially York. if you are traveling with um an infant kids mm -hmm. Forget about strollers. You yeah. better have those little, um, those little well, you beanie your... stroller or the one yeah, that the you strap on. Yeah, strap on. Because yeah. mm -hmm. there's no way, there's no way you can, um, like have those big strollers. You see, pe most people, rich people have, or um, just regular folks nowadays can uh, afford those big strollers. Right. But those not gonna work. You will have to get those little. Um, those little strollers to go on the bus, fold it up, take your baby out, and just, you know. Yeah, that's a big issue with the crowds on the bus. You know, everyone's fighting for space. You got to hold on. And, you know, for those quick uh, stops, and make sure you don't fall down and make sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here in Florida, or Orlando, Florida, um, the buses are so clean um they're not packed so you, whenever, whenever you get on them you can always get a seat right. to sit you can um you're not gonna find them like overcrowded or um they drive past you and uh, don't pick you up they're gonna always stop because there's always space um with with um Florida, the buses are also nice. For they're nice, so they <laughs> they're are tinted. Yeah. You, 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 you will. You, you can't see who is in the bus. Right. So I guess you don't have like, to worry about being embarrassed on the bus, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but in California, it's not tinted. Um, uh, uh. You can see everybody, like everything going on up in the bus. But here, it's all, the buses are all tinted. They're clean, and yeah, um, yeah. That's what that's it for um, transportation. Right. It's uh, I think with the transportation, mm -hmm. Florida, Florida, uh, get cleanliness. Yeah. But as far as uh, being on time, being on time and consistent, and consistent San Francisco, San Francisco wins. Yeah. So yeah. All right, number five, the people. So, when it comes to Orlando and San Francisco, you would like to uh, give YouTubers 
the uh, experience you had in San Francisco? Okay, first of all, Floridians are warm people. Is it From my sad? experience. Okay. Um, not saying that you may not have a few people in San Francisco who are warm, but the bulk of them is like, um, they snobbers. They're so like Okay, snobbers. so you look at San Francisco like, as... <laughs> They they don't it's talk nice. to you. Mm -hmm. They you ask them a question and they just stand there and look at you. And I I just find it rather strange for somebody to want uh, need direction to go somewhere, and you're just you ask questions and they're just looking at you like you're crazy. So yeah, I I find that very odd. Yeah. And I'm not saying that is everybody in San Francisco is like that, but from my experience, they don't really talk to you. Um, if they don't know you, they don't talk to you. It can be very frustrating when you're trying to get information. Yeah, I think uh, the issues with San Francisco and meeting people is that people are so focused on making sure they have a roof over their head. So, I mean, they focus on making enough money. Because you have to understand in California, they have a lot of issues when it comes to being sued. So a lot of people can be in a situation when they're in a, a, some type of uh, malpractice and, and getting sued, and people may sue you for certain things. Also, people there are probably people who are not from San Francisco who are coming to California for the uh, uh, Silicon Valley and trying to get into the tech uh, field. So you're having people who are coming from other states and also from other countries as well, where you may think that those individuals may be San Francisco, may be born in San Francisco, but some of them may not be. So with that, where you may actually meet people who may not be from there and their personality may be a little bit different from Post to so from San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, <laughs> no. Okay. In Florida, people don't know you.